Hello everyone, Penny here, and today I am working on the Traveler's Notebook from the Unfailing Love Kit for February, and this is a devotional kit. However, if you do not wish to use the devotion, you can still use the Traveler Notebook pages and the cover and so on. So I have cut out the cover, I printed the cover on regular copy paper, and I have backed it with cardstock, and then I used the Fibba tape, it's construction mesh drywall tape, and I am now going to adhere a second piece of cardstock because I want the cover to be sturdy because I only printed the cover on regular copy paper. Now, if you don't have cardstock, you can use junk mail papers, you can use newspapers, you can use cereal boxes, any kind of cardboard or, you know, thick papers. You can even layer up different old book text to make your cover sturdier. I'm going to add glue all the way around this and then I'm going to uh, stick it down to the cardstock and then I'm going to cut, trim, and distress. Here I'm going to use my ruler and scoring tool to score two to four marks so that this seam in the cover the spine is scored well so it will fold well because there's two pieces of cardstock and they are 110 pounds each so that's a lot of thickness and I want to make sure that I have a nice crisp spine so um, I am scoring on the black line and then I'm going you can use different types of scoring tools this I found at Dollar Tree um, it's a scraper, but it you it was really well. So I'm going to score on the black line, and then I'm going to score on the right and left side of the black line. Now, of course, I did not let my cover dry efficient enough. Of course, I never do. Um, but normally, I don't put a whole piece like this because it will wrinkle on me. I don't like those wrinkles. And if it doesn't bother you, that's fine. Normally, I'll put a piece of, of thinner paper here, but I wanted this cover to be really thick so it would hold up um, with the staples and things. You can also sew your signature in, and I'll show you about that coming up. But I'm just going to staple this signature together. So I want to make sure that that is adhered down really well for that spine to be clean. It's got some wrinkles because there is fibba tape behind there. So no worries. I can just cover that with some fabric or washi tape or even another thinner piece of paper I can just like put in there to float um, to cover up those wrinkles but after a while um, those wrinkles I did get to lay down nicely I just didn't let my covers <laughs> dry I didn't get it proper drying time um, but I was just trying to hurry uh, for the video and things like that so I'm going to make sure that the spine has a nice crisp edge on it and I'm going to be using my ruler to do that. Now that I have the cover done, it's time to put the pages in. Now, these pages you will need to put in correct order. They will go back front to back, so I'll show you. Um, this is the first page, this is the second page, and I'm going to actually put them back to back. I did print on both sides because I'm gonna create pockets in my driver's notebook. So I did print them on, um, I did print you know, the devotion on one side. It was designed for you to put them together like a booklet, okay? So the first page of the devotion is gonna be on the right and it's gonna say what I have learned for 2021. Okay, then the next page will be on the left. Next page will have, the third page will have the scripture. And then the fourth page I think has the questions. But you can kind of figure it out because um, the first page will be on the right the second page will be on the left. The writing will be on the left. The third one will be on the right and so forth. So I'm just getting two pages at a time and I'm going to cut those. Now you can use your um, scan and cut. You can. I was going to just feed these through and let the scan and cut cut those out. But I just decided that I was just going to put two pages together 
you know, right sides up, and then I was going to cut them. And that's how you do it there. Once you put them back to back, um, they will be in correct order. And I'm just going to go through here, and you can watch. See, this uh, This has got that one, then this one looks like that. And it's, then I'll put those two together, I'll cut those, and then I'll put them back to back, if that makes any sense. Here I'm gathering all of my pages. I'm taking two pages at a time and I'm going to begin to fold them in the middle and I will trim and um, cut my edges because I want round edges. So I'm just making sure that I have the text in the correct order. One will be on the right and then I will have two blank pages and then one on the left. So that is same way for the last two pages so i hope that makes sense or that it looks like a booklet now i printed like i said on both sides because i want to make pockets and this is what it was designed for um, is to put together glue together or to make pockets and now i'm going to begin to fold them i'm going to trim and uh, cut the edges so that they will be curved Now that I have my pages cut and trimmed and curved, I'm going to put them inside the cover. I'm going to get me a big paper clip or two, my stapler, and I am going to uh, kind of smush up these pages. Now, if that bothers you having a little bit over, um, you can trim that now if it bothers you. It doesn't bother me that they're just a tiny, I mean, just a tiny bit over because um, that's what happens whenever you don't cut the black lines off um, if you leave the black lines like I did on here then you're gonna have that little overage but when you cut your pages if you want to take totally remove the black line you won't have any issues it might hang over just a little it depends upon your printer how you print and how you fold your pages and stuff like that so I'm just gonna use an ordinary stapler I'm gonna try to get these pages together as, as best as I can you can use a phone book or something um, to um, staple your pages onto, but I have this uh, gardening knee mat that came from Dollar Tree. It's a foam mat that they, they normally have during this time of season, so I was super excited to get it because this is my punch mat. I like to use it to punch things into, um, to make paper beads with, you know, make my flowers and things like that. So. I am just stapling this traveler's notebook together. You most certainly can sew it together, but I wanted to just use a staple because I'm only gonna use this traveler's notebook for the rest of this month. Now that I've got it together, I wanna to work with the inside pocket. And I made that sheet that has the two music sheets. I made it into a pocket and I'm gluing it into the inside. Now I am just looking at the kit and see what's left. Um, the card making kit, you can look that up. Um, that has already been done. Here is the Faith Dex and I'm gonna cut those to show you how to make a pocket here. So if you're interested in making a pocket with those Faith, I'm gonna call them Faith Dex. Um, you can just make a pocket. Now I'm using a regular hole punch and my scissors. Uh, two hole punches on both sides and then scissors. I don't have one of those Dex punches. That's just how I do it. I use my ordinary um, hole punch and it works perfectly fine in my little, of course I'm not using it in a Dex 
revolving decks uh, catalog thing. I'm using it as a pocket for my traveler's notebook page. So here I'm just going to go through the process. You can watch me create this pocket, add the little elements. I add some fibers and things like that. And I added some foam tape um, to pop up the uh, little bird there. And I began to cut out uh, some tags, some journaling cards that is with the kit. I used just some scrap uh, it's an old planner pages i use so just watch this and just see how i just kind of put this together uh, to make up to decorate embellish the pocket for my traveler's notebook Okay, so there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video on how that I made this simple traveler's notebook journal for the unfailing devotional for the month of February. Check out the links down below.